you know, I, I don't really have anything to hide. So yeah, feel free to ask me anything. So I am here with a very new and successful trader. Uh, let's go ahead and start off with the interview with what is your name? I'm Jin, Jin Kang. Uh, cool. And, and where are you from? So I was pretty much born and raised in Jersey. I'm still in Jersey right now. Um, I currently am a law student. I go to a law school in Jersey. And yeah, no, just like um, Carlos and... And um, Angelo, I, I went to, I graduated from Rutgers University as well. So there's a common ground there. That's really cool. Um, what do you, what do you do for a living? Right now, I'm just a full-time student. Um, hopefully just, I could keep this trading career of mine consistent, consistently successful. Um, so that's, that's been helping me out a lot. Because um, as a student, you, you're taking out money and paying for an education and you have no income coming in so um yeah trading's changed my life man it's amazing that's great uh and so i know you had a big payout how big was your payout that you had recently recently it was for 88k wow 88k yeah yeah and is that the uh is that the after uh the 80 percent of it or is that the full amount that you made so that's after the 80 percent so i think uh it was around like a hundred K that I made on my account. Mm -hmm. And then with my 80% payout, I got around like 88, 90. Wow. That's, that's incredible. So I'd, I'd love to hear more about your background in this field. So how did you start out with Forex in the first place? So it's a funny story, just like uh, everybody else when they were quarantined back in 2020. Um, I was interested in the concept of trading. I mean, it, it, it was crazy because like the year before I, got into law school i saw this one guy at church and he pulled up with a bmw i8 and i'm like dude what are you doing man what, what, what tell me the secrets what, what are you doing he tells he said he tells me that he trades the stock market so that i had an interest of that and once i was once like everything shut down during quarantine that's when i thought it was a good opportunity to learn um so i started with the stock market in the summer of 2020 and it treated me so poorly like i really didn't like the fact that I was restricted to trade from like eight to four or nine to five, whatever the trading hours are and how manipulative the banks are. Um, and like Elon Musk could, you know, put out a tweet and it'll fluct fluctuate the price like crazy by like 20%. Um, so I didn't have great success in the stock market. Then I came across, um, swaggy c's video about like his market breakdown and and what forex is and man that that changed my life that's something that I, like i as soon as i saw that video knowing that there's it's markets open 24 5 um it's such a big market the biggest market in the world that manipulation does happen but it's not to the extent like uh not to the extent the stock market has so I like that idea. I was like, okay, it's a trillion dollar market, right? Multi-trillion dollar market. Um, and also as a, as a day trader, there is no um, minimum like account size rule. I forgot a pattern day trading rule. You know, you know, they have that in the stock market. You got to have 25 K in your account to trade. Um, that doesn't apply for Forex. And also the main thing, prop firms, the fact that Firms will fund you if you know how to trade. That was my biggest incentive. So, um, yeah, I got on it. It's, uh, I think I started around late December of 2020. That's when I discovered Forex. And it took me about a year. I took two courses. And after about a year, that's when I started to see some profitability. And, yeah, so it's been about, like, a year and four months since I discovered Forex. And it's been about like five months I've, um, since I stopped, uh, worked with uh, the funded trader. Yeah, so yeah, I'm, I'm here today. I finally got my, got two decently uh, decent payouts. And now I'm working on another challenge. And um, yeah, that's where I am right now. Cool. How big was your previous payout? It was for 58, 58K. 
Gotcha. So you're over a hundred thousand now in total, which is awesome. The Q1 treated me well, man. It, it was good. It was very, very good. I'm very blessed to have, you know, have had this opportunity and I'm, I'm thinking just to go bigger, keep it going. And, um, yeah, but you know, I just want to fully disclose that like not every month is going to be profitable. Like just last month with the whole Ukraine and Russia news, gold was just like skyrocketing, you know, and I just really wanted to seize that opportunity. I know GJ, all the GBP pairs, um, like tanked too. So with those two pairs, I was I was able to make those uh, two payouts big, you know. Yeah, Sorry, my, my dog is just growling in the background. All, all good. Uh, so I'm kind of curious now, what brought you to the fund and trader specifically over other prop firms? Yeah, I would say definitely the daily drawdown rule. That's that's nice. Six percent uh, compared to five like other prop, prop firms. Um, the overall drawdown is nice. Twelve percent compared to ten. And at that time. Uh, the profit target was 8%, I believe. Um, so that that pretty much got me there. I mean, there was no reason why I would pay more for a different prop firm when they have worse, um, you know, daily target, overall, tar uh, overall target, uh, daily um, loss, overall loss. You know, they had just, the fund trader had better risk parameters as a consumer and as a trader. It just made sense. Um, price is relatively cheaper. You know, I, I thought it was a no brainer to just go with the TFT. Cool. Yeah. I, I have a couple other TFT questions that we can get back to your specific trading account. Uh, the next one is what would you tell someone looking to get funded with TFT? What would I tell them when they first start out? Yes. Um, well, just know that just focus on your skills, be patient. Um, cause if you are patient and really invest in yourself, you will be paid out. Like it, it will happen. So don't rush the process and, you know, say that you can't make your 10%, get a refund, just make, you know, just be profitable somewhat, just make a dollar over, your, you know, account size and get a refund and try again. Um, cause there is a light at the end of the tunnel and it's a, it's a glorious light. So just believe in yourself, you know? Yeah. I mean, especially someone like you has just had so much success. It's so, so inspirational to, to hear that kind of things. Um, how do you feel about the community with the fund trader? It's good. I mean, I know I, I'm part of the discord group. Um, it's a very, very welcoming, close knit community. Um, you know, if you have any, it's, it's, it's nice because you could be, you could add, you know, DM the CEO, and he'll answer in like five minutes, you know, it's just uh, whatever. It, 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 it's a very responsive community as well. Well managed as well. So, um, hey, I'm enjoying it, man. I've never had a prop firm like this. Gotcha. And um, what other prop firms have you tried out in the past? I tried FTMO, um, my Forex funds. FTMO is, you know, always a solid. It's always going to be a staple. Um, but with, the, with my Forex funds, I just didn't like the uh equity drawdown rule mm. yeah and that kind of messed me up like I, I i'm i'm i like the the balance drawdown um so you know where exactly where you are because with the equity drawdown you you really you got to have a different risk management game you know now that just, just didn't sit well with me um and i think that's it no other firms yeah i i had a, a similar experience i had a funded account with with mff for a while and the same rule got me out that we're talking about. So I, I was up floating 10% and then the day changed and then went down to only 5% in profit, lost yeah. my account because of it. And it's, mm. yeah, so that's, that's, that's kind of annoying. I'm happy to report that the fund trader doesn't, doesn't have that, which is pretty nice. Um, if you could do anything differently on your, on your fund account, what would you do differently? I gotta be more patient. I think, um, like how I just said, with the whole Russian news, it, the market's been crazy. But now that it's coming back to, I guess, normal conditions, I'm rushing into trades that end up not in my favor. So I, I think I'm going to have to wait for that extra confluence, you know, that extra four hour candle closure, um, wait for the retest, like all the principles that I learned, I, I think I forgot them because I knew what gold was going to do the past month. 
you know, I knew what GJ was going to do. But now that things are kind of normal now and changing, it's I'm, I'm going to have to be more patient before I get into a trade. Sure. And you're mentioning a little bit about your strategy, about which pairs you're looking for, about the retest. Can you go into a little bit more detail in what is your strategy for your challenge and is it different than your funded account? So my strategy is the same all throughout. Um, it's, it's simple. It's just uh, supply and demand, liquidity grabs. Um, I just pretty much look at the weekly and daily charts and mark up my major levels of supply or demand. And then I just break it down even more. So I'll go to the four hour, see where's supply and demand in, in that time frame, And then I would go down to one hour. And then from there, it's different. Like if it's near a major level, then that's when I know it's like, all right, let's, let's see what the market does. If it stays under that level, then let's, I go for a sell. If it breaks above, I wait for that retest. And then if I get another confirmation that's going back up, then that's, that's when I get in. So it's, it's very simple. I mean, I, I don't, I, I think simple trading is the best trading in my opinion. Um, you don't want to convolute and make convolute yourself and, and make this whole process so complicated to the point where like you're paralyzed from, you have a paralysis for analysis, right? I think that's, that's what you call it. Yeah. So yeah, I just try to keep it simple. Um, supply and demand. If it breaks a level, wait for a retest and get in. If it doesn't break, again, wait for that retest and then go the other way. Gotcha. That makes sense. And I, I couldn't agree with with you more about keeping it simple. I think it's so important. Uh, do you sit in front of the charts or do you set alerts? What, what's your typical schedule look like with that? So I tend to just uh, wake up for the New York session, see what the market's doing. And then if I see a decent trade that's worth going in, then I'll, I'll put an alert, you know, I'll get a message. I'll try to get set a message where um, like price is re, uh, retesting, wait for that confirmation. And then I'll know it's like, okay, let's, let's try to get into a trade soon. Um, but for the most part, I just wait throughout the day. So I'm not on the charts like 24 seven. I mean, I, I'm a full-time student as well, so I can't be. Um, but when I do have the time, I'll, I'll take a look and see where the market's at. Um, I don't, I can't tell you like which, um, I guess, uh, sessions I trade the most. It's, it's weird that I'm probably going to have to be a little bit more consistent with. Um, but you know, it's not guaranteed that price is going to be somewhere at, at New York session or, or London session. So I just try to keep an eye out where price is at throughout the day. Um, and if it's at a zone that I'm interested in, then whether it be the London session, Asian session, or uh, New York session, I just, I just go in for it. Gotcha. And you're obviously very young and obviously very successful as well. Has, have you always been successful? How many times have you blown trading accounts? Oh, oh man. I blew so many accounts, man. Um, I, I have to say, I think I've done around like 20, 30 challenges. Like, I kid you not. Um, although I probably could have done a demo account and, and been a little bit more patient. But as soon as after like three months of learning the market, I just went in. That was a terrible idea. I don't recommend that for anybody. Um, but that's just what it took for me. Um, I needed that psych, like real money psychology behind my trading to get me really like focused and zoned in. Um, so I blew a lot of money, but Hey man, one good payout pays it all. You know, like I believed in it so much. I, I want to do this for the rest of my life. This is just, it's been a game changer in my life and fun. I love trading the market. It's so fun. So fun. Yeah. I mean, the, the trajectory you're at right now is absolutely fantastic. Over a hundred thousand dollars in one quarter. That's, that's incredible. So congratulations for that, for sure. When you Thanks. do take a, a few losses, what helps you come back strong? Hmm. I'm not going to lie. I'm still learning right now. And I, st it does affect me emotionally when I have losing trades, but I just think about all the winning trades that I've made in the past, um, especially those payouts. And I just remind myself, that's just part of the game, man. Like, don't be, don't fret too much. Just take it and, you know, take the punch and just move on and, and, you know, well, I do try to stay away from the charts, though. After a losing trade, um, stay away unless you really see another opportunity. Don't don't let your emotions, 
you know, clog your trading strategy and just keep it going, just stay level headed. Um, so I've been working on my emotions uh, a bit more. I mean, I, I, like I said, I'm only a year in. I'm no veteran by all means. Um, so yeah, I just uh, I try to stay away a little bit from the charts. There's because and try to focus on different work, just schoolwork, whatever it may be. Um, but yeah. Great. Well, I have a, a final question for you, which is long term. Uh, what do you believe the fund and trader will end up doing for the industry and beyond? Well, considering the fact that the fund and trader is only less than a year old, right? They, mm -hmm. They've been established, like, I think, mid-2021. Um, considering that it's, considering its success right now, I think it'll it'll be up there with, F I, I, it's arguable that it's it's up there with FTMO and um, my Forex funds. Um but yeah, it's going to be one of those uh, prop firms where people, where it's like a go-to and it has such a good reputation. I mean, it's, it just got started, but considering, hey, man, I could attest to it. I got my payout. Community is looking nice. Um, I know Angelo and, and, and Carlos are very interactive with the community as well. They do a lot of promotions, man. It's looking good. It's looking good. I want to be there for the long term too. So um, yeah, I mean, it, it'll, it'll, it'll compete in terms of revenue uh, and cap sizes with, uh, with the FTMO. Gotcha. Well, thank you so much for your time and Jen, I wish you the, the best of success. And I, I, I want to see uh, another hundred thousand dollars. So <laughs> good job and keep it up. Thank you, man. Thank you for, for your time. And, uh, like I said, I'm a huge fan of your YouTube channel. So, uh, yeah, keep up the great work, man. You're, you inspire a lot of people as well. Awesome. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you, Blake.